Okay guys, so we got some walleye the other day, last night, ice fishing, and we're going to do a little competition here. Do some bone sucking sauce on the right tray, and we're going to do some fin and feather rub by Traeger on the left, and we'll see what the kids like the best. We'll just throw a few of these on. I just had them sitting in the fridge on ice for a couple hours. A little bit of ice water. That's some pretty decent fillets. Usually I try not to keep my fish because I'm lazy. But if you're gonna keep a fish, I guess a walleye is not the bad, not the worst fish to keep. So on this first one, we'll do the fin and feather rub. The old Traeger. I've never tried this before. I've just seen it in the store and decided to pick it up. Boy, the uh, sprinkler for it's garbage. That's what the problem you have with companies that make one size fits all for their products. Doesn't work when you need it to. So I'm gonna be pretty liberal with that because a lot of it'll just come off when we're cooking it. Try this, and just pat that a little bit. Flip on. I wouldn't have thought about the bone sucking sauce, but I saw a video earlier today, and the guy used it, and it looked pretty darn good. So I said, do we have any of that in the cupboard? And the kids came in, pulled some out of the cupboard, so we'll give it a whirl. Whoop. I am curious. how that goes. So there's the Traeger stuff, and here's the bone sucking sauce. I usually get that at like Sportsman's Warehouse or probably any grocery store, I imagine. This one actually comes out like it should. Pat it down a little bit. And yeah, I had a little trigger on my hands, but oh well. Usually I just use salt and pepper and butter for walleye, and we're usually happy as a clam. But uh, we'll try something different today. So I got a little pat of butter here. We're going to go warm it up on the Blackstone griddle. And uh, see you out there. Okay, we'll throw that butter in there and let it do its thing. So it won't be long. Okay, so we'll just get a little butter going on the griddle here. I'll go grab some fish. Yeah, we're getting closer. Okay. Okay. We're just throwing it on here. Walleye! Uh -huh. My brother-in-law wants to know what you're cooking. I guess I should tell him we're cooking on pulled pork. Pulled pork as well tonight. Got that going on the tray here. My wife likes having an outdoor kitchen, so I get to do all the work. And there's not such a big mess inside. And I don't mind it either, I kind of enjoy it kind of relaxing to me. Okay, so put a little butter on these as we're cooking them. Just for when we roll them around next time. Ah, it's gonna be good. 
Don't tell my doctor what I'm doing here. It doesn't look very healthy. Got a little bit more seasoning on there than I like, so I'll just wash it off with a little butter. Alright. I'll hit them all with a little more butter and then I'll get them turned here. Oh yeah, just like Aunt Jemima used to make there. Aunt Jemima. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you that Traeger stuff's looking pretty good. Might have to apologize to him. Oh yeah, I get it. Just one in the house and the kids are like, how much longer? It's kind of fun when we have fish, they enjoy it. We'll butter these up. Looking good. What do they call this? A 99 cent heart attack? Although I don't know a fish that costs 99 cents anymore. It's time to spend all the money to go catch them. I think we're getting close. I'm going to start pulling the little stuff here in a second. And we'll give the bigger ones a little bit longer. Like I'm gonna close it up, let things get a little bit steamed a little bit. I'll throw a little water in there. Just let that cook for a second. Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna give this all one more flip. I like my stuff a little bit crispy. Fish isn't my favorite dish. But uh, if we can get things a little bit crisped up, I'm, I'm happier usually. It's starting to fall apart. Oh man, that is looking good. Oh well. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm going to go hand this up off to the vultures. Okay, let's see what the vultures think. Elsie, Sadie, Cash, get in here and try this. So tell me which one of these things you like the best, guys. Give me a fork. Give me a fork, she says.
Mm. That bone sauce is not bad. Ooh, they like the Traeger, guys. They like the Traeger better. Why do you like the Traeger better? It tastes more like a fish. Though. More like a fish? So the bone sauce is just a little bit more barbecue-y? Or what do you think? What's your verdict? Um, it's too sweet. Too sweet. Okay. Well, there you have it. These are my little critics here. So, thanks, guys. Okay, it's pretty obvious which one won. It was the fin and feather rub from Traeger. Bone sucking sauce is not bad, especially with a little tartar sauce. Mm -mm. You don't like the tartar sauce, Alex? No, I do, but this is better. But yeah, this is better. Hands down, they've, they've decided. My favorite part about a Blackstone griddle is the cleanup. It's just too easy to clean up. A little bit of water. Couple paper towels, and Mama's happy, and I'm happy. Just makes it nice to clean out outside so easy. So, once again, kind of a different video, but I thank you for coming along. Before we leave, let's check this baby out. It's been going for about five hours on 275, and we're just getting ready to wrap it and uh, put it in the uh, oven for about another two or three hours. Then we'll rest it for another three, couple, three hours. So we'll catch you on the next one. So they're both getting depleted. So good stuff.